This is such a wonderful day. Good afternoon. I'm Jeff Roberts. I'm Dean of the Purdue College of Science. And um, what a spectacular fall day. Uh, this is just wonderful. We're here to celebrate uh, the awarding of the Nobel Prize in Chemistry to uh, our dear colleague, Professor Eiichi Nagishi, who stands to be. This is such a wonderful day for you, and the day is really yours. But it's also a wonderful day for the Department of Chemistry for Purdue and for Purdue University as a whole. Uh, you know, Purdue is a place of tradition and heritage, and it's so fitting uh, that you came here to work for Herb Brown, uh, and there you're now the Her Herbert C. Brown Distinguished Professor of Chemistry. Uh, the next person in many years who holds that title is going to have quite a burden on his or her shoulders. So, uh, um, we're it's so, a must. Yeah, it's a must. We're so proud of you and uh, the model that you are for our students and the inspiration you are to our faculty and our staff and everyone at Purdue University. Uh, so, uh, your, uh, the honor that you're receiving today uh, touches us and it touches all alumni and supporters of Purdue. Uh, before we move on to uh, my introduction of my boss, uh, President Cordova here, I do have a letter that I'd like to read to you today that we received from the Consulate General of Japan in Chicago. So, and he asks that we read this to you. Uh, Dear Dr. Nagishi, I was thrilled this morning to hear that you've been awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry. In Japan, it is considered the highest of honors, here too, and I know Japanese people <laughs> around the world are overjoyed by the wonderful news. They joined Purdue University in celebrating your tremendous achievement. On behalf of the government of Japan, I offer you my sincerest congratulations. I truly look forward to meeting you in the near future. Sincerely, George Hiseda, Consul General of Japan in Chicago. So. very, very important at Purdue University. It's my privilege to introduce the leader of this great institution. Uh, she's an internationally recognized astrophysicist, former chief scientist of NASA, and a Senate-confirmed member of the National Science Board, an enormous honor for her and for Purdue. Last fall, she was unanimously confirmed by Congress as a citizen member of the Smithsonian Institute Institutions Board of Regents. Ladies and gentlemen, the 11th President of Purdue University, Dr. Franz Cordova. Thank you, Dean Roberts.